for anyone watching or listening to this video we ask that you pray for MOVA and the completion of the MOVA Football League MOVA is a district that is the roots of Caribbean stars here in Canada and we have given a lot of time in coordinating events in MOVA MOVA has been stigmatized negatively by the media who after putting on several events over 25 years have not been present to cover the positives of the community as an organization Caribbean Stars has established Star Soccer Review and to help the image of MOVA we have also produced MOVA Love magazine at this time we would like to thank the MP office of Lavantil East Mova, the Regional Corporation Office, and Mova Police for putting on such an inspiring tournament. And we hope for its continued success. I would like to ask you to please stand as we get set for the national anthem Trinidad and Tobago. My DJ, would you remain standing, please, for just one second again? As in everything we do, we always need to acknowledge the undisputed power and presence of the Almighty God. So, to make intercession for us, I would like to invite to the microphone a brother who I can only describe as a man of God and football. Let's welcome Keon Alexander. Good evening, everyone. All heads bow, all eyes closed. Father, we just want to give you thanks. We want to give you praise. We want to give you the glory and the honor. It's only because of you we have this, oh God, wonderful football tournament about to start. But we pray for strength. We pray for unity. We pray for wisdom and understanding. We pray for brotherhood. We pray for love. We pray for peace. Lord, we pray all these things in the name of Jesus. But we thank you for good weather. We thank you for all those who are here. We pray a special blessing upon them in the name of Jesus. But we thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory and the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to welcome you. First of all, I want to say good afternoon to the specially invited guests. Welcome. The councillor for MOVA Central, Franz Lamkin, in our midst as well, the Commissioner of Police, Gary Griffith. Welcome. All stakeholders, all teams, all supporters, welcome. Well, first of all, I want to give you a little synopsis on what the organization is projecting to do through this competition. The project is an initiative of the MOVA Police Station. The Member of Parliament for Laventil East MOVA, the Honorable Adrian Leon, and the coaches from the MOVA Station Council. Its goal is to diminish crime and the fear of crime through community-oriented sporting activities with the aim of providing opportunities for the young people and youth within our area. 
I'll, I, I want to emphasize on that a bit, a bit as, as I'm doing the welcome address. address. Because, because reading this, something, something struck me. me. Additionally, of, of these different, different teams during the football games, experts from the football fraternity would be present looking on to identify the very skilled players from each team. At the end of this league, these exceptional players would be pooled together to represent the Mohawk community in football leagues across the country. And I think that is what struck me. Because not only... Yeah, let me hear a round of applause for that. Come on, me. Because not only is the program or the initiative is to reinvoke that community spirit back into the community, but it also provides a window of opportunity for many of our talented young people. And to the MOVA and Council and the Member of Parliament for Lamentil East MOVA, on behalf of all the residents, we want to say thank you very much for this initiative and we know it's definitely going to go a long way. So with that said and done, I want to we officially welcome you to the MOVA Lavantil Community Football League 2019. Make some noise. Let me hear some noise for that. Now, you know, normally they don't give me welcome address to do it. So I'm so happy when I get the opportunity to do it. Nice. So we're moving along. We're going to have the opening remarks now. And I know this gentleman is going to give us some words of inspiration and motivation as we go along. Let me invite to the microphone Acting Senior Superintendent Robert Phillips. Good afternoon. Commissioner of Police, Mr. Gary Griffith, sponsors, team, and supporters. It is an honor for me to stand here this afternoon and speak on behalf of the officers of the Northeastern Division Police. I hope that you all don't look at this as just a football competition, but take it as an opportunity to build back bridges tear down barriers within the Mova Laventil community. The same love that you have on the playing field, I want you to take that love when the game is over to your community and maintain and build back that love in the Mova Laventil area. And when this competition is finished, you all will be as one again and not a divided community based only on ground. So with that, I would like to say fair play to all these, and I wish each and every one the best. Thank you.
Superintendent Roger Alexander. Good afternoon. All protocol observed. Members of the community of Mova, it's been a long time coming. This is where we used to settle our differences. The police team on that side, Mova team on this side, and we used to settle our differences right here. So I want the young people this evening to take the opportunity to use this football field as the roadmap to what happens next. I want you to, when the team on this side, and then the team on this side, I want the team on this side to go into the territory and try to successfully score a goal in the net. And the team on this side tries successfully to score a goal to the net on this side. Only fun, no guns, no warfare, love from both sides. And at the end of the day, we live happy, everybody together, in unity, because that is how Mova used to be. So, on behalf of the police service and my commissioner there, and all the sponsors, thank you for bringing back what we used to have in MOVA and the spirit of brotherly love. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Assistant Superintendent Roger Alexander for those words of inspiration and motivation as we go ahead. Nice. So we're moving on now to our feature address. It's going to be done by a gentleman who continues time after time to provide opportunities for the members of his constituency. And let me tell you something about this gentleman. If he personally cannot help you, he will send you to someone who can. Yeah? That gentleman is a member of Parliament for Lavante East Mova, the Honorable Adrian Leons. Make some noise. Thank you very much. Trinidad and 
want to be good. Let us play for that home. Let us play for love. Let us recognize the persons that may have fallen and that may have gone. And let us honor them by playing to make this space a home. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Member of Parliament for that till East Mova, Adrian Williams. So now, we're moving smoothly. We can continue. At this time, we will jump straight inside the vote of thanks. So to do that for us, I would like to call on Woman Sergeant John to move a vote of thanks for us. Let's hear it from the woman Sergeant John. Nice. Good afternoon, all. All sports of Palam Zoo. I know everybody came and spoke from the top of their head. I have to do this. A pleasant, hot, and sunny afternoon to all of you. All protocols are good. I am Sergeant Woman Sergeant John, attached to the Mogwan Police Station. My portfolio here is to say thank you. Without the assistance of God, these people and companies, this event would never have been possible. Companies like Angus Kura, TGA, Massimoto were the first three companies that pledged their support to this initiative. So the three of you, thank you. It was a challenge for me when I kept getting, sorry, but we can't help at this time from the larger companies. Those words got me sick. But then came some positive news from the smaller companies within the Mowan Lavatel constituency. Companies like RBC, The Butcher's Block, Mowan One Stop Mart, Aquan Hardware, Mother's Wholesalers, and Start Bar and Lunch. To all of you, I say thank you. You have your community interest at heart. An event like this is not possible with service providers. Thanks to Bruce Key's Fort Bar and Lunch for the sound system. Thanks to Shelly, your own community event planner and decorator from Chinapu. Thanks to Mr. Ali for the loudspeaker used to advertise this event in all your communities. To all of you, I say thank you. These companies sponsor their product so that the footballers who are the main attraction here first will be quenched and tummies filled. Thanks to Mr. Rambiel of Coca-Cola, Mr. Nicholas of Michael Martin, Blue Waters, Ocean Delight, Hard Pro, very exciting thing, branded Sunshine Snacks. Thank you, thank you all. A special thank you to my right hand, your MP, Mr. Adrian Leon. He gave me hope when I was just about to give up. He afforded me the support of all his staff, and I must mention Miss Mohammed and Miss Peaches. Thank you guys, we did it. Thanks to Mr. Frank Edwards and Mr. Keon Alexander. You were both my left hand. You all guided me using your expertise and experience and was there from the very beginning with me. Mr. Abdallah Phillip and Mr. Gary Dissouz, thanks also to both of you. I have to now say thanks to my little police. Thanks to Ms. V, Mr. Cromwell, Mr. Matter, Thanks to you, Ms. Brown and Ms. London. You all have I always adhered to my request. Sergeant Norton and Sergeant Dorrit, thanks to both also. Thanks to my senior superintendent, Mr. Phillip. You supported this initiative from inception. My inspector, Mr. Mirage, thanks for your support. 
thanks to ASP Roger Alexander and all the officers attached to Movant Police Station. The media houses present here today, thank you. The regional cooperation, especially your councillor, Mr. Lampkin, thanks, thanks. Now, I could go on and on, but the game must start soon. So thanks to all those who I remember and all those who I did not remember, thanks to you too. Special thanks to all of you who took time off your busy schedule to be present here with us, the footballers and the supporters. Last but not least, thanks to my Commissioner of Cody for permitting me to stage such an event, one to promote community togetherness, instill discipline, and improve self-esteem amongst residents whilst alleviating crime and the fear of crime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I would say thank you, Roman Sir John, for that important delivery. Yeah, make some noise for Sergeant John. And you could have, you could have felt the passion in her speech. You could have felt that you, you know she, she was deeply involved in taking this start. And I mean, we want to say thank you again to the Mova Station Council and the Member of Parliament for Lavington East Mova. In the midst, let me formally acknowledge representative from the Ministry of Sport and the Youth Affairs, Mr. Pradeep Vishnu. Yeah? Of course, the Minister, the Honorable Shamka Kujo, she couldn't be with, here with us, so she sent a represent, representative and her best wish as well. Right. So we're moving right along now to the official opening of the league and it's going to be done by the commissioner police mr gary griffin and the honorable adrian leons but before we do that we're going to have the teams march off to their respective camps so we're going to start off first right we're walking in an easterly direction as we make as they make their way off the field So once again, let me give you a little rundown of the teams. Paradise Heights, Coconut Drive, Lower Coconut Drive, Hirondel United, Mopa Central, Monrepo, Second Caledonia, Vegas. Vegas, Vegas are the biggest supporters so far, boy. Yeah, boy. And remember, remember I told you, uh, MP and Commissioner, I said I, I was going to pledge a prize for the team with the biggest support. Roosies, they donated the first item, which is one case of sack. I'm going to donate one case of LLB. So, and as the competition rolls along, we're going to pool together. Yeah, we're going to pool together a nice hamper to give to the biggest supporters. But, but, you must be wearing the colors of your team in order to collect that prize. You're going to keep pulling me to the, right? <laughs> so we're moving on now, number 13, Clover Street, Upper Coconut Drive, and of course my good friends inside the Nine Stories. Women Nine Stories too. Yeah, you're in the you, 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 you're rubbing off, you're rubbing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're looking good, we're feeling good. Let me shout to some of my friends in the police service. The, those three ladies at the Baratarial Community Policing Unit, WPC's Liverpool, uh, Alexander, and WPC. Um, I forget the other ladies. Ali. Yes, they treated me really, really well when I went down to post the event earlier on last month. They treated me really, really well. Of course, the ladies from the Mopa Community Police, WPC's Tanis and Miss Stephen. 
Let me formally acknowledge in our presence as well the Deputy Mayor of the City of Port of Spain, Hilan Moray. He's here with us and we're so happy to have him. So we're going to do the official kickoff. One of you have to score. Will it be our MP? We were or will it be our in the Commissioner of Police? Right. Wow. But one of them has to score. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so someone's phone is missing. <laughs> hey, hey, only look, one on the other score. Remember the second match right after this one is Paradise Heights over Central. Match number two. Hey, let's go, Money Pop! Let's go! Um, yeah.